Hey there, would you like to know how to remove your device from the black place? So, what we're gonna do is to test it using this device over here. It's an A50 that is currently locked and blacklisted. So I'm gonna put this SIM card over here. So we're gonna do it together. And I'm gonna show you that this doesn't work. So it's just gonna say emergency calls only or something like that. So as you can see, no SIM card, it's picking at some signal, not network connection, emergency calls only, it's not gonna work. But this is not enough proof. So what are we gonna do? Oh, you might be wondering about the message. So over here you have this message. It means that it doesn't work with the network because it's blacklisted. So I got this tool over here. So we're gonna go into your dial, press the following, press pound, and now we got our IMEI right here. So we're gonna enter that same IMEI. And what we want to do is to check that this phone is indeed locked. So we're gonna hit check over here. We're gonna we're gonna complete the I not a robot. Okay guys, as you can see, it says blacklisted. It's the same model I have over here, A50. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into safe unlocks. We're gonna go to services. We're gonna choose the fourth one. I mean, I blocked this removal. We're gonna first type our name. Then we need an email over here. Make sure to have access to this email. It doesn't have to be the same one as you're using your device. So Samsung in this case, I have an IMEI. Yeah, I do. Um, well, I need to get the IMEI. So you already know how to get it. So we're gonna enter that IMEI onto the form. All right, after you verify all the information, click on the terms and conditions, press on proceed. And over here is very simple. So you're gonna scroll down over here and you'll see that there is a quick tutorial over here. It need help. You're gonna watch this and you'll understand how to continue the process. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll see you once you're done completing this step. Okay guys, you might be wondering what to do now after completing the process that is explained on this video down below over here. So all we have to do is to go into our inbox and wait for the activation ID. Luckily for me, it is already here. So I can see right now, your order ID was verified and is ready to be used to activate your order. Please remember that this will only work with the details you have provided. So we're gonna take this ID over here, we're gonna go into our order, we're gonna paste it, and if everything is correct, we're gonna see the start order button. So all we have to do is to press it, and it's gonna say your order is now in progress. This is great, and you might be wondering what to do next. It's the same thing as before, and we have to wait for a second email confirming that everything is correct, and that's all we have to do. Afterwards, I'm gonna show you how to test it. Okay guys, it only took like a few minutes. It was really quick. Device removed from the blacklist. Hey there Nick, we have great news for you. Your application was accepted and now your IMEI is clean. Feel free to test it. In case there are any inconveniences, please let us know and a team member will reach out to you. This is great news. So the first thing that I wanna do and it's really important is to go. We're already checking here that it says that the device is blacklisted. So what we're gonna do right now is to see if it if it is clean indeed. So we're gonna go and do that. Okay, we're here on the page and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna obtain the IMEA once again. So you, you can make sure that everything is right. So we're gonna enter that same IMEA once again and we're gonna test it. So it's only gonna take a few seconds. So I'm gonna hit here and check. I'm gonna complete the I not a robot and I'm gonna check if, if this is correct. So we're gonna wait, blacklist status, clean. So you can see over here, let's see if this message is gone. Yep, we got the A50, we got it right here and now it's clean. But most importantly is to see if it works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this same SIM card that we just tried before, and we're gonna test if it's picking some signal once again. So we're gonna wait for that and show you. Okay, as you can see, I have signal, I have 4G without any issue. It was really simple, guys. If you wanna do it, go to safeunlocks.com. I'll see you again on the next video, and I hope I was able to help you.